In this lecture, I will tell you how to fill your PMP application. First step is type www.pmi.org in the browser and press enter. You will see this screen. There are two buttons here, register or login. If you already have an account on this website, you can click on login button. Otherwise, just click on register button. When you click on register button, you will see a new screen. So after clicking on register button, you will see this form. You can fill this straightforward information, first name, last name, primary email, uh, check if you like to receive emails from PMI, uh, country, your current company name, you are working at which level right now. This information you can choose any. This will not have any impact on your PMP application. Total number of years of experience. Out of that, how much is related to the project management? What is the reason? What is your interest? You can select any. This information also you can choose whatever you like area of focus mm, for example I have selected IT or IES you can select any whatever you like uh, primary organization focus um, I have selected IT you can select healthcare government um, construction consulting energy whatever you like you can select here you can give account information username or password retype your password security question answer and click on create account so this is the first step to create an account on this website pmi.org now after you log in you will see on the top right my pmi so here there are two options one maybe you have already started working on an application and then you just filled 10% 20% and logged out and now you are coming again so in that case if you already have an in progress application then it's better you go from my PMI dashboard and in the dashboard you will see on the right side application status continue working on your application in case you have not initiated any application yet in that case you should go from certification so in that case you will go from certification certification process so when you click on the certification process you will come on the screen so here you see different certifications you can click on PMP exam so when you click on PMP exam a new screen will open you will see online proctored testing for PMP certifications so once again on the right side you will see four certifications here click on PMP so when you click on PMP and scroll down you will see learn about applying for your PMP so once again when you come on this step now you are on this screen where you see a button here apply for PMP so these steps are for the people who are uh, creating this application for the first time in case you already have uh, in progress application then you just need to go to your dashboard and in your dashboard you will see continue working on your application so once again from for first timers from certification certification process from certification process PMP exam from PMP exam on the right PMP and on PMP scroll down 
to learn about applying for your PMP and then on the right side apply for PMP. So these are the two ways to work on your application for in progress from dashboard and from new all these four or five steps. So now when your application opens you will see first step is to enter education as I have already entered here so in that case I will just edit it it will open all this information so you can enter the highest level of education uh, whatever you like you can choose here when you uh, attended this uh, education country name of the institute you can type here field of study you can select from here and you can enter it so this is first step and once you enter it it comes here that means this step is complete after that professional education related to PMP or project management 35 hours so for that also as I have already entered here so I will just click on edit here so this is how you need to enter so for my students you just need to type as it is project management workshop knowledge skill training and the dates of the training and qualifying hours 35 for any other uh, students you just need to enter the details of their uh, certificates right so when you click on that it will come here that means second step is complete and then you just need to click to third step continue to experience so when you come to experience you see it has been changed here uh, the complicated thing of hours breakdown has been removed and the text area project description now you can type 200 to 500 words instead of 550 characters minim, uh, maximum in uh, the previous format of the application now you can write so many things here which makes it easy for you to enter the project details so just write project title here organization name job title functionality area organizational uh, primary focus here methodology so most of the time you select uh, a tradi traditional waterfall model team size whatever it was budget if you like you can mention otherwise you can hide it also just if you don't uh, want to share the budget you can just keep it classified project dates here start date finish date in case the project is still ongoing you can just check this in progress and here you can type the project description so for project description I have created uh, one for a sample one project for software industry so you can just copy paste as it is uh, don't blindly copy paste uh, you can just change it uh, five ten percent and second project is for construction so that also you can just uh, use as it is or uh, change it uh, a little ten five ten percent you can change also so for example I copy the name here project title was to construct a building organization for example you can say let's say my title was project manager PM department main focus construction methodology waterfall team size let's say 20 or more budget for example 5 to 10 million let's say it started in 2014 and uh, so as I have checked uh, in progress so that's why it will not come here so if I change it to 
completed means uncheck this in progress or then I can give dates here so from March 2014 to April 2020 and here I can just copy paste from that uh, word or PDF document and I can save it so now you see my requirements are met here so when it becomes green that means it is set already then I can go to exam details I can give my home address work address name on identification a comma name what I want on my certificate to be printed my email address my phone number exam location so all this you can just uh, enter and then just click on submit application so this is how you fill your application for PMP thank you very much wish you all the best